Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net. In the video today, the top 10 binge-worthy shows that you should be watching on Netflix. With so many amazing shows on Netflix, it's sometimes hard to actually decide what you're going to watch next. Yes, we all know the hit shows all of your friends and family are talking about, but sometimes we just want to discover a great series that no one has ever heard of. In the video today, we're looking at 10 of these hidden shows. Note here that some of them are Netflix originals and some of them are from other networks. And these are shows that you probably aren't watching, but you really should. And as always with Netflix, watch them while you can, because they might not be available much longer. Number 10. The Magicians The Magicians is a Harry Potter fan stream come to life. A college senior named Quentin is suffering with depression, and he decides that he needs to trade in his fascination with magic tricks and fantasy in exchange for graduate school. He soon discovers that the magic tricks aren't just for show, and he is one of the few special people who can perform real magic. He is invited to study at Breakbills College, where he can finally study how to become a real magician. Number 9. 3% if you're into dystopian stories, 3% may be your next binge-worthy show. The story takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where average citizens live in horrible conditions. When everyone turns 20 years old, they go through a test called The Process. This is the only way you can prove that you are worthy of living on an island called The Offshore, which promises to be a paradise free of crime and poverty. Candidates must prove themselves worthy by completing puzzles and intense group challenges. Unlike most young adult dystopian stories, this Brazilian Netflix original series isn't afraid to tackle more mature themes and dig deep into political and social commentary. Number 8. Chef's Table If you're a foodie who enjoys watching cooking shows, you should really see Chef's Table. Each episode is a mini-documentary on the lives of master chefs and Michelin star restaurant owners from around the world. You get to learn about the journey to their success and the signature dishes that helped to make them famous. There are actually two separate series of this on Netflix. This is because there are far more Michelin starred restaurants in France than many other places in the world, which is why Netflix created an entirely separate series with the same premise called Chef's Table France. Whether you're an amateur chef or really just love to eat, you will find a new appreciation for what it really takes to become an award-winning chef. The only downside to this series is that it will make you seriously hungry. Number 7. Haters Back Off Colleen Ballinger was one of the first YouTubers to achieve celebrity comedian status. When Colleen was at college studying musical theatre, she realized just how many divas at a high school thought a lot of their talent when they were actually awful. Miranda Sings was a character that Colleen created in order to parody the result of a generation where every kid got a trophy and were told they could be the next big Broadway star. Her videos they went very viral. Since then, Colleen has continued to make Miranda videos and expanded the character's backstory. Netflix picked it up for its own TV series called Haters Back Off, which shows the fictional life of Miranda Sings's awkward and unlikely rise to stardom. The show has some incredible comedic talents like Angela Kingsley, who you'll recognize from The Office. The show might not suit everyone's sense of humor, but if you enjoyed Napoleon Dynamite, you might just like haters back off. Get it while it lasts, though. The series has been so underseen that it was recently canceled. Number 6. The OA in the OA, a young girl named Prairie becomes blind during a near-death experience. As a teenager, she goes missing. Most people assumed that she was dead until her parents see her on the news seven years later jumping off a bridge. Now Prairie can see again, and there is no rational explanation why. She decides to tell the whole story of her disappearance to a group of local misfits. This show is a bit sci-fi and a bit fantasy, and it's also got mixes of dark drama in there. It's also visually stunning, and the story is incredibly dark, so it is certainly not for the faint of heart. You'd you definitely don't want to be watching this with your kids around, or even worse, your parents. This series is so mysterious, you may find yourself binging it just to get answers like, what does OA even stand for? And, well, in order to find that out, you're going to have to watch it. Number 5. Club of Crows Club of Crows, or Club de Cuevos, as its original Spanish title describes it, is about a brother and sister who inherit their father's soccer team in Mexico. The show is filled with just as much drama as any Latin American telenovela, but it's mostly a comedy parodying the world of international football clubs. The daughter is clearly the most capable candidate to run the club, and yet she is denied the role since she is a woman. The son wants to be taken seriously as the new team president, and yet can't seem to keep himself away from drugs and strippers. The show is great, especially if you're a soccer fan, but fair warning, it is certainly not safe for work. Number 4. Escape to the Country 
If you live in the United States and you love watching real estate shows like Fixer Upper or House Hunters, you may be interested in the United Kingdom-based show Escape to the Country. The BBC has been airing the show since 2002 because it's just that good. Hosts will meet with a couple who plan to move out of an urban area and into a house in the countryside. The couple has their budget of what they can afford and list of things that they're looking for in their dream home. They are given three options, including a mystery house, which is usually very quirky in some way. The show spans all of of England, Wales, Scotland, and occasionally Ireland. If you're an American viewer, it's fascinating to see just how different homes are in the UK, and it can be a refreshing change from what you already see on TV. Number 3. Ripper Street Ripper Street is a historic crime drama following the investigators who were in charge of solving the Jack the Ripper case in London during the Victorian era. The show has flown so under the radar in the United States that not even true crime junkies know about it. The show originally aired on the BBC, and it was picked up by Amazon as one of their original series. The show's fifth and final season premiered in 2017. Unlike other investigation shows like Sherlock, Ripper doesn't just rely on the crime show format of giving the audience a new mystery each episode that wraps up in a tight little bow. The show is just as much about the complex characters as it is about hunting for a serial killer. As an added bonus, Jerome Flynn plays one of the detectives. He is best known as Jamie's witty right-hand man and friend Bron in Game of Thrones. Number 2. Terrace House – Boys and Girls in the City If you have run out of reality TV series to watch, you may want to watch the Japanese show called Terrace House. Six strangers in their 20s, with vastly different personalities and careers, live together in a house for one month, and the cameras are rolling in order to capture their interactions. If you watch Big Brother, well, this plot it probably sounds quite similar. The major difference with Terrace House is that the guests actually get to go to work every day. They are even given a car to share, and no one gets eliminated. So it's really similar to the real world in some ways. The cameras also follow the house guests to their jobs, where the audience learn more about who these people truly are. There is plenty of drama on Terrace House, but don't expect screening matches or fistfights like in American reality TV. So, in a way, it's not really so similar to the real world. Number 1. An Idiot Abroad Comedian Ricky Gervais has a friend named Carl Pilkinson. Carl enjoys simple things like sitting at home with a cold beer. Most people would kill to travel the world, but Carl would rather stay inside. An Idiot Abroad is a documentary series where Ricky and Stephen Merchant force Carl to get out of the house and have fun by paying him to go on expensive trips to places like the Great Wall of China and the Pyramids in Egypt. Part of what makes An Idiot Abroad so funny is the fact that Gervais and Merchant are actually playing a massive practical joke, forcing Carl to participate in hilariously awkward situations under the guise of it being a normal part of a travel experience. Since Carl doesn't know any better, he falls for it all the time. Now, it should be noted that over the years, some people have begun to suspect that Carl Carl is an actor playing a role, but Gervais and Merchant are adamant that no, this is really just the way that Carl is. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below, and do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, check out some of our videos from the archives over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.